All right, guys, I'm back with an all request hour, starting off with a little request we had for a lesson on how to find out which metal ion is bigger based on the ionic size. So this is gonna depend not only on what element you're talking about, but the charge on that element, the charge being what makes it an ion. A few example questions I got here for you is what's bigger, the sodium plus one ion or the fluorine minus one ion, the fluoride ion. When you're trying to figure out which atom is bigger, there's only two things you need to consider. The first is how many shells are there with electrons in them for the atom. Obviously, if an atom has more shells, it's going to be a bigger atom or ion. And secondly, how many protons does the ion have? If you have two atoms that have the same number of electrons, you're gonna have the same number of shells. And if you have the same number of shells, I'm going to ask you to consider how many protons there are. Because if there are more protons in the nucleus of the atom, that means the electrons that are floating around the ion are held closer. More protons means a smaller ion or atom because the electron clouds are held just a little bit closer. So, which is bigger, fluoride or sodium plus one? Well, the first thing we gotta do is consider how many shells the ion has. Now let's take a look at this periodic table. Look at this, I got a bigger one just for you guys. Sodium normally has uh, electrons in the first, second, third shell. Normally, there is one electron in that third circle of a Bohr-Rutherford diagram, or for you electron configuration buffs, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. But the deal here is we're dealing with ionic size, and this is a sodium plus one. So that one electron in the third shell is actually gone. That's what makes it uh, the plus one ion. So sodium has just, sodium plus one has just 10 electrons and two shells. Fluorine normally has nine electrons, but now it has 10 because it has an extra electron. That's what gives it the minus one charge. So they both have 10 electrons, which means they have the same number of shells as well. How many protons does each of them have? Well, luckily for us, number of protons is the same as the atomic number. Sodium has 11 protons, fluorine has nine protons. In which atom will the 10 electrons be held closer to the nucleus? Electrons have a negative charge, protons have a positive charge, so more protons in the nucleus cause the electrons to be held tighter, and that means the atom or ion with fewer protons is the bigger one. Fluoride is the bigger atom of these two. Let's play this game a second time since you know how much I love games like this. Vanadium 5 plus and phosphide, which is phosphorus 3 minus. Vanadium normally has 23 electrons. Take away five, you end up with 18. It's nice and stable, just like the atom argon. Phosphorus normally has 15, but you add three because it gets a charge of minus three. So it gets 18 electrons as well. Same number of electrons, well, that means you have the same number of shells, and it comes down to protons. Vanadium has more protons, which means it holds its electrons tighter, which means phosphide is the bigger ion here. Finally, we'll compare vanadium five plus and manganese two plus. Vanadium normally has 23, lose five, you end up at 18. Manganese normally has 25 electrons, lose two, you end up with 23 electrons. Manganese straight up has more electrons, so it's the bigger atom, slash ion here. Now, one thing I wanna point out is that I've been referring to more shells is bigger. I guess I should be specific and say that's more electrons is bigger. The reason I said shells before is, for you electron buffs, when you take two electrons away from manganese, you end up with 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 
3d5. When you take two electrons away from manganese, you actually take them out of the 4s first. Nonetheless, you still have three, five extra 3d electrons, and so that ion's bigger. Anyways, play the game which ion's bigger. Count the number of electrons. That straight up controls the size, but if they have the same number of electrons, it comes down to protons. And whichever one has more protons holds the atoms tighter and is smaller. All right, best of luck, guys.